Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on the Skeleton Mini Album Metal Die Set I received from Scrap Diva Designs. You could find this die set at ScrapDivaDesigns.com. You could get a 10% discount using Prisgemic 10. All the details are listed in the description box below. Let's get started! I made this skeleton mini album. Looks like this. Inside I've included some other projects that I made from Scrap Diva Designs. This uh, ghost tag and these Halloween words. And also this um, skull bag topper number one. So um, I'll be showing how to make this skeleton album. First of all, we will be working with this skeleton metal die in the middle. And it comes in one piece, so um, you'll need to cut that out. And I will we'll also be working with this outer layer of the skeleton and also this middle layer. The, I haven't used the, one, the, the most outer layer metal die, but you could also use it. It'll make it a little bit big, bigger, the album. So what I did was I punched out a black piece of um, cardstock here, which is um, which is this part here, this border, and also the skeleton I cut out using. Um, white sparkle paper for the skeleton part and I backed it up with uh, foam it's about one centimeter the foam about uh, 10 millimeters the foam the thickness of the foam and I did it for the rest of the whole body here so um, and then this holographic paper is this section here. I cut that out twice. And this will be the front cover. This will be the background of the skeleton. And what I did was um, the bones, I would use a Sharpie marker like this. And I would put, place a dot in the middle of the bone like this. And then use my machine to punch a hole. Put the bone into the machine like this. And then match it up with the black dot like that and there's a hole the next thing I would do is I would do that with all the bones so I did that with this one I decorated it with a bow and then I placed a, one of these into the, the hole like that and I would do it for all the bones before I put the brad in I would uh, measure where you want the arms so I did it for the arms and the two legs at the bottom and I just want to show you how I did it so I wherever you want the arm and then I would place a dot with this jelly, white jelly roll 
onto here like that. Now I would use this machine again and punch the holes, aligning with the white dots like this. Sometimes I can't find it. So all four of them have been punched out. And I'll go ahead and decorate the remaining bone. This bow is uh, came from my own stash. It's just decoration. Glue is not coming out. Okay, let's see. There. And I place it on the bone near where I punched the hole. And I put a brad into the hole. Like that. Then you would attach these brad um, and the bone onto the hole like this and fasten the brads onto your black card onto the cardstock. Like that. So now you have a moving arm. And we do it for the rest. You don't have to make these moving parts. You could just glue it on and it'll be just permanently stuck on. Last one. There. Next we have the skull head. And what I did was I shaded. I'm going to shade the head and the rest of all the bones to give it some color. This is distress, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. The color is Flamingo. There. I'll glue the skull on.
and can glue this black piece on after you attach the brad brads. Press on it. There. And we have the jaw. And this hair came from my stash too. So that will go on top of the skull, but we're gonna put this eye on as well. Um, it's best to have um, something that's, I believe, one centimeter or smaller in diameter for the eyeball. This one is slightly bigger. This one is like 12, uh, 1.2 centimeters. So it doesn't entirely fit inside the eye socket. And we have a little heart resin piece that I'm gonna stick onto the nose with just regular glue. We have this rib cage here, and this one we'll put it here. And I have this wire wrapped skull bead that I'm gonna attach to the rib. There we go. And my glue gun is ready, so I um, can glue the eye on to the skull. Like that. And then glue the hair on. And I have this also from my stash, this X. It'll go into the other eye.
like that. And I have this heart resin. I'll put all the details of where I got these embellishments in the description box below. And I'll put it here like those voodoo dolls. I'll just put some glue here like that. Here. And um oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. There. And I also have this for nails, this cross. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm also gonna glue it. You could glue it on top of the heart. Let's try it. Maybe it'll stick on there, hopefully. And, um, yeah, so we're going to glue this onto the body. Oh, oh. kind of fell. I left uh, the top part out because there's this charm that I want it to move freely so the top part around the charm will won't have glue and we'll stick it on like this And then these bottom parts, disassemble them. The remaining part. done this is the cover and um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put this piece on and what I used for this is um, it came from um, chaos craft store and it's like a straw topper it looks like this and I cut out a piece and then I cut it in half like that and then I glued them together like this. So it would be like, originally it was like this and I cut it in half and then I'll glue the two parts together like this. And I'll get this. And what I would do is um, I've cut another holographic piece for the back here. It's going to go on the back like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this piece in between. 
like that. Or you can make your own little tab using a hole puncher and cutting around it into a strip like this. So we're going to glue this in between wherever you want it to be. I want it to be a little bit at the top because I have this charm that I'm going to hang and this binder ring is 30 centimeters, I mean 30 millimeters, so um, it's, it's 3 centimeters. You could fit a lot of pages with um, this 3 centimeter binder ring. Or you can have a smaller ring, which would also work. Um, it'll just fit maybe a little bit less papers. I've decided to put three pages in, so um, including the cover. So I punched out additional pieces here. So, uh, okay, so glued the tab on to the top like this. And now we're gonna glue the back cover. There, and it all looks like this. And for the other ones, I pre-cut some. So we're gonna glue this background on, and this piece is, this pink piece is, um, the one right next to the skeleton and this back part is this piece in the middle so we're gonna glue this So the second page, I've already pre-glued the background piece and I cut out the back piece and put also a background on that back cover on the second page. So we're to make it a line, we're gonna place this page, the second page front page facing downwards in the back of the first page like this and then we're going to take one of these and we're going to align it to the first tab over here like that. Now we're going to glue it on. using that as a reference so we'll know that they're in the same position yeah and we're gonna glue the back cover onto there so you'll do that for all the other pages as many pages as you want to make that could fit into your binder ring or whatever binding you choose to do.
So that's the second page. There's the cover, second page. And I also made a third page here. And you know, this one hasn't been glued, so I'm gonna glue it. Same process. And there you have it. Oh, okay. So um, this is supposed to be the back of the page, so I'm just gonna move it over. Okay, there. And you can use that um, eraser glue, um, this erase, special eraser to erase the residual glue. Some, it's really magical, the eraser. Um, I can show you, I've, I've cut a small piece out. It's like kind of dirty, but like, it looks like this. And then, um, yeah, you just, go like this and it comes off the glue. I found out from uh, Craft Purge YouTube tutorial. I saw it on her page. So um, yeah, it's really neat. Just gets off all the glue. So um, Next, we're gonna put the binder ring in and I've hanged some charms here. And this uh, binding is from my scrapbook cabin. And I open it and you could put as many ribbons as you like. I put two. And the length of these ribbons is um, your preference. I just like to make them nice and short. And tie a bow. The length should be eight, like um, long enough for you to make a bow like that. And then you would string no okay put the charms on and then string it on like this and close the binding and there we have it skeleton mini album
you can get this die set at scrapdivadesigns.com. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!